everybody, this is the Provoked Prawn. And have you gone about building your gaming PC and everything went successfully and you turned it on and then you plugged it into your monitor and found that you couldn't get any further because you've got a warning from your BIOS about CPU fan speed detection error. This might look pretty scary if you see this warning and you can't do anything with your PC seemingly, but don't worry because it's actually a pretty easy fix. So I'm going to help you out. Now, usually this is caused when you've installed an all-in-one CPU cooler like this Kraken Elite Cooler from NZXT. So essentially when you go about setting this up, usually you obviously install your pump head as you can see here, and it has multiple different cables coming out of the top of it. And if you followed one of my guides or if you just connected it up and set it up and installed it, you will have connected up most of those cables, including USB, SATA power and other things. But this tiny little cable comes out the top of the pump head. What you need to do is usually connect that up to one of the connectors on your motherboard. And generally speaking, what you'd be looking for on the top right hand corner is the AIO pump header, which is a small connection that allows you to basically control the speed of the pump from your motherboard. You can see it here on this Zeus motherboard. It's called AIO pump. There are various different other designs, but sometimes you'll be looking for a CPU fan instead as an alternative. Now make note of that because that is actually one solution to this problem. You can plug it into the CPU fan header instead. The reason your BIOS is complaining is because it can't track where the CPU fan is spinning up because nothing's connected to that CPU fan. So essentially because we've got nothing connected there and instead we've got it connected to the AIO pump, it's getting confused. So what you need to do is go into your BIOS by pressing F1 as you see now that warning message. Go to the advanced settings and then look for the monitor section. This will vary from BIOS to BIOS, but essentially what we're doing is we're looking for fan speed monitoring settings. And in there, you're essentially going to tell the BIOS not to worry that the CPU fan isn't being detected as spinning because basically there's nothing connected to it. So you can see there's an option here for CPU fan. Select that from the drop down and tick ignore. Now the BIOS will ignore that and it won't be a problem. You can see that AIO pump speed is actually registered by the BIOS, so the fact that it complains about CPU fan is a bit silly, and that the chassis fans are spinning up nicely. So we can be pretty sure that everything's going to be fine and that temps aren't a problem either. You can also see the current motherboard temperature in there as well, so you can get an idea that we haven't got any problems. And then just save and exit and restart, and then you should be able to boot into Windows without any problems, and then just get on with the glory of gaming and other fun things. If you found this video useful, hit subscribe and drop me a comment down below to say thank you. Appreciate you for watching. Have a great life.